one store away to get back home. <laughs> one step of the way to get back. Hey, how many of y'all have? Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Have y'all seen a um, uh, 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 scene two? I really like the first one, you guys. So I haven't saw it. Um, uh, so, but my um, my granddaughter saw it. So she loved the first one so much, and that's why I I ended up watching it because. She would just really, really, that's when I said, oh, this little girl is very musical, like most of our children are. And when she first heard that, um, uh, Tori Kelly, I want to shout out to you anyway, girl, because them pipes, you be killing that young girl. Um, she's very good. And uh, the elephant ended up being one of her favorite characters. So they saw Sing 2. I haven't got a chance to see it yet. And so y'all know I'm trying to kill time. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Uh, welcome to the mental house. I think I will be watching it tonight. Um, maybe, I'm sorry, this afternoon. Uh, 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 um, but my aim is to talk about those boys down there in Georgia who uh, what rescinded their plea, well, you already know, because they, mm, 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 mm. that's what you call, when, when they say heart and not your heart, oh, listen, here we go, two minute mark is up, thank the Lord. Those Greg and Travis McMichael, I hope they go to state prison. Oh, Lord. And then the, the outcome of that is whatever happens there is what you deserve. Is what you deserve is what you deserve. And I hope you don't last too long if you want to know the truth. I don't. I hope you don't last very long at all. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer, I don't know how long he lasted. It wasn't very long. Uh, but it was too long, considering what he did to these families and how he uh, terrorized and just did something to uh, the black community here that we never recovered from. OK, uh, the mental illness is running rampant. So what I wanted to say is it's amazing to me that they were ready to plead guilty to chasing Ahmaud Aubrey and killing him because he was a black man running through their neighborhood, a place in which they thought he did not belong. They were willing to admit that if they thought they were going to spend 30 years in federal prison. But since they know that the judge did not accept the plea deal and that she has the ability to uh, stick more time on there or she has the ability to um do whatever she wants but one thing they do know that they not that she's not going to accept that plea deal so they can get a lighter sentence by starting off in federal court for the next I mean, federal I'm sorry federal prison for the next 30 years she said no I don't think that would be a good thing for the family so so these demons they not sorry at all. That's why I said they got to go to state prison and they got to get justice. See, because let me tell you something. Sometimes, and I'm not saying that this is the case in this particular uh, situation. Okay. Some people and sometimes you might run into the right Christian. You might. Because you know they, they they can't they don't stay mad very long. But you could have ran into the right one, and if they had saw just a tiny bit of remorse from y'all, who knows? You might have just went to federal prison. Okay? But the fact that the family felt that they were still trying to be bamboozled hoodwink, um, and uh a undercover deal was cut in the midnight hour. 
They certainly didn't want it. So you weren't dealing with those kind of Negroes. You were dealing with a different type. And they want you to suffer just like you made Ahmaud Arbery suffer. And guess what? I think that only be fitting that y'all run through the prisons. You know, you might can find somebody that'll protect you there for a while. But what y'all did, y'all deserve whatever you get. And you don't need your time lightened or lessened or anything because you're not even remorseful at all. Y'all still think y'all should have got away with this because it wasn't nothing but a nigger. That's how y'all feel. You still should have been able to get away with it. What what does that mean to y'all? Y'all some demonic entities. That's exactly what it means. This right here, you know, so it doesn't shock me. But check this out. President Michael says he won't plead guilty to a federal hate crime charge in the murder of Ahmaud Arbery. His attorney announced the decision in a legal filing late this evening in U.S. District Court. McMichael and his son, Travis, had planned to enter guilty pleas in court on Monday when a judge rejected the terms of a plea deal. Travis McMichael has to decide by tomorrow whether to move forward with his guilty plea. Court records show jury selection in Gregory McMichael's federal trial will begin on Monday. If his son changes his plea, he will also go to trial. Now, y'all heard it. You heard it right there. Um, so they both withdrew their uh, guilty plea because they like, uh, uh. If you the did that, Ahmad Arbery reacting tonight to the update in the federal hate crimes case against their son's convicted killers. Today, one of those men, Travis McMichael, withdrew his guilty plea less than 24 hours after his father, Gregory McMichael, withdrew his plea. Now, these pleas were part of an agreement prosecutors made with the McMichaels, an agreement the judge denied earlier this week. So this means that the men will have a federal trial starting on Monday, along with a third man, man convicted of murdering Arbery, William Bryant. On our side, Kaylee Tracy was in the courtroom when Travis McMichael withdrew his plea today and has more now on what's next in the case. Barricades now block the street in front of the federal courthouse in downtown Brunswick ahead of the hate crime trial for the men convicted of murdering Ahmad Arbery. An attorney we talked to who is not affiliated with the case explains what Travis and Gregory McMichael's guilty pleas earlier this week mean for jury selection. I would make sure that there's a, a, fair, a fair jury panel, uh, one who has not been influenced by whatever they have heard. Attorney Esther Panage says that's easier said than done in the federal hate crimes case against the men convicted of killing Ahmaud Arbery. It's challenging, she says, because two of the three defendants, Gregory and Travis McMichael, offered a willingness to plead guilty to the hate crime charges earlier this week. They're going to have to ask the jurors, jurors in voir dire, what do you know about this case? Have you already fixed an opinion on this case? Or can you listen to the evidence with an open mind and make a decision based only on what you hear in the courtroom? Judge Lisa Godby Wood plans to call about 1,000 people for jury duty, the same number that was called for the state trial. For the federal trial, though, they'll pull people from all 43 counties in Georgia's Southern Federal Court District to try to get a fair and impartial jury. 25 potential jurors will be brought in in the morning each day to be questioned and 25 in the afternoon to find 12 jurors and four alternates. The judge saying the process will likely be a marathon, not a sprint. We'll be here at the federal courthouse when jury selection starts Monday at 9 a.m. Cameras are not allowed in federal courtrooms, but we'll update you on air and online. For now, reporting in Brunswick, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side. All right. The family of so y'all got y'all got what's coming down the pike now. These guys rescinded their guilty pleas, so they re they're gonna go to court and um. They, they, we're going to let it go from there. However, I heard somebody say that if they win in federal court, that the federal uh, decision supersedes the state uh, uh, verdict. Now, that right there, I, I, um, I'm, I'm still, in some cases, 
That's not always the case. So that's the only thing that scares me about this here case. Um, and so I, if somebody is out there that want to shoot me an email or make a comment below any lawyers out there, does I would like to know the answer to that. Does it mean that if they win, I mean, if they are, are found guilty in federal court, does that sentence supersede the, uh, um, you know, the, the uh, verdict in the state court? That's very important because they, these guys rescinded their plea. They're white supremacists. They want to go to federal prison. You already know they don't want to go to state prison where they got all the black people, right? And the Puerto Ricans and the Mexicans. They don't want to go there. Okay. So, um, that kind of makes me think, you know, maybe, you know, it's still some, you know, something in the game. I don't know. I would hope not. But if anybody knows the answer to that, leave it in the comments. Okay. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe and share. And I'm going to see you in the next video.